this is Miss Becky. I'm a children's services librarian at the Ashboro Public Library. And this week, while we stick around on my porch, we're gonna be making some really cool designs with some paper towel rolls, or even a toilet paper roll, if you are lucky enough to have one of those. <laughs> All right, um, the other supplies we're gonna need this week are a pencil, a ruler, if you have one, some scissors, and some sort of glue. You can use a glue stick or even tape. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, first you're gonna take your paper towel roll and you're gonna have to flatten it out. So, just gonna flatten it like this. Um, you could even use ruler or a straight edge to kind of give it a good crease. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ruler and I'm just going to mark off um, every half inch. Just half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and do another row of these. That way um, I can line them up and it helps me to draw a straight line. So that way if I turn it, then I can just kind of connect the dots, if you will, and that helps me to draw a little bit straighter line. do that with the whole thing if you want and then the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to cut these straight across along the line that I drew Okay, now we have these cool little shapes that you can do lots of fun things with. Um, one of the things that you can make with them, and this might be a great idea for Mother's Day, so, so moms don't look if you're watching this, um, you could make a cool little flower. Then you just take some glue and stick them together like that. Another idea um, I was playing around with is if you didn't want to make a flower, you could also make a butterfly. So if you have a bunch of these shapes, I noticed that you could make some really cool designs. So if you start like, sort of like that, and then make like a, a circle with them, you can do it on the other side. And you could just keep going and going and kind of make like a like a mandala. So 
Isn't that cool? I also noticed that if you took um, one of these shapes and kind of rounded the one side back out, it kind of uh, looked like a little bit like a bird head. So I thought to myself, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a penguin. So, so I thought, well, maybe that could be his body. And then maybe this could be his wings. <laughs> and then I took, um, took one and bent it in half and uh, thought, they look kind of like his feet. <laughs> so maybe there's some other animals you could make with these shapes. Another idea is to um, hang the flowers from a stick and you can make a really cool mobile. I painted these um, with some paint that I had around the house. But if you don't have paint, you could also color them with markers or even chalk. Well, that's all I have for you for this week. Thanks for joining me on my porch. Let's stick around. Um, I'll be here next Friday. If you want to tune in on Facebook or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at RandolphCountyLibraries.com. I'd love to see some of the designs that you come up with. So if you would send photos to Room at gmail.com, we'd love to put them on our virtual gallery. And uh, also, if you have any ideas about things that you would like to explore at home, we would love to hear from you. So again, my name is Ms. Becky. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.